these are the best beast mode men's colognes and they are really really strong and project as well so if you're looking for really good fragrances that will make you get compliments because beast mode fragrances often get amazing compliments then keep on watching first up we've got the new duo sauvage elixir this one is amazing amazing in terms of projection longevity it just smashes it the scent profile is also the best this is my favorite personal cologne from the sauvage line it's addictive it's got this vintage vibe but it's also modern so it's intense sweet woodsy smoky really really great blue all-rounder and it will get you compliments as well because this is a really likable cologne but yeah a strong beast mode lasts definitely eight hours plus i would say more like 10 hours plus really amazing one next one i have to give it to jeremy because his fragrance office for men this one is beast mode you probably some of you own it i don't know if he sells it anymore but it's one of the most long-lasting colognes in my collection when my husband wears it it lasts and lasts and projects like crazy it's a great freshy kind of like aventus style very fresh woody cologne next up we've got aqua di Gio profumo this is a freshy with the lovely aquamarine patchouli that makes it smell like a sea guard. I adore the scent. This is addictive. I want to smell it and smell it. It's super sexy and lasts uh, better than the original. The Profumo is the one that lasts and lasts and projects. It's a one that I would wear if I was a guy and wanted to go to a pool party and a lot of freshies, disappointingly, they're not beast mode. This is beast mode. And you can also, on top of it, apply a lot of it. You'll smell great. Next up, it's Versace Eros Eau de Parfum. This is a beast mode. This, oh, it's apple, it's tonka bean, it's minty, it's super strong. It's this thick, minty tonka bean that you can smell from miles and miles. This will be, like you'll be able to be smelled even in a crowded club. This is really like a flamboyant, like really loud, person cologne this is what this cologne would look like in a person form because you can't miss this person that walks into a room smelling like that it's really really intense and perfect for somebody i would say a bit younger rather than older because this really has super youthful vibes and is a beast mode next we've got another beast this is really really strong and i love it for the strength of it club de nuit intense man eau de toilette from amra this scent is a dupe for creed aventus but it's more smoky more harsh and confident i love that harshness i know that many people are like oh harshness and fragrances doesn't work ever but in here it does it just makes it more masculine more decisive forceful just confidence boosting really sexy as everyday cologne i hate the bottle though <laughs> please change it i'm rough but the scent itself is affordable you can get it at discounters at a really great price so I'll link some down below really amazing beast mode and this list couldn't be made without i mean guys stronger with you intensely absolutely sorry both are great but absolutely this is the beast if you love the line but the others maybe don't give you enough strength and beast mode this is the strongest the beastest mode of them all it's really like you have to be careful because maybe you can be overwhelming if you spray like 20 40 sprays this is really really delicious it's woody it's smoky it's nutty but it also has got this underlying uh, woodiness harsh woodiness this lovely harsh wood woodiness that makes it a bit less romantic than for example um stronger with you intensely intensely is more like a date fragrance a bit romantic a bit quieter whereas this is a bit more like confident aggressive really intense really intense in the air so beast mode 
definitely. And another one that is super strong in the air is Interlude Black Iris from Amouage. This scent is beast mode. I mean, every single fragrance on this list is beast mode, but especially the two that I've mentioned now, they're crazy. They are so strong that you have to be a bit careful with them because you, but maybe you want to be really strong with your fragrance. Maybe that is your style. Then you can go for it. But this scent, it's just really oriental, really spicy, super unique. To me, it smells like a billionaire status sort of a scent. Really unlike anything you have ever smelled. Quality, absolutely amazing. And it is just loud really really loud next up we've got another beast mode a niche fragrance shooting stars starlight bar by zerzhov this scent is absolutely beast mode in a lighter way because it's not woody per se it's not this harsh woodiness this is much more of this really intense but light and airy sweetness with honey coriander bit of like chocolatey light vibes really intense honey is really delicious in here it smells truly just like out outer worldly celestial really intense and beautiful this is a scent that would just capture somebody's heart that is what i could imagine this scent to be really really beast mode next up we've got a chanel fragrance coromandel this fragrance is truly unisex and beast mode one of the classics from the line this if you're lucky and i Bet most of you will be lucky with this one because on men I think the patchouli note really stands out instead of the sweetness and it makes this fragrance super earthy and just chocolatey dark chocolatey oh it's beautiful it's a classic it's really a fragrance that you can wear for years to come you have this like old money sort of uh, scent and it's truly really really strong and some chanel fragrances don't perform that great from the line but this one is really strong and um i think it's due to that like intensity in the den dense heaviness of this scent next absolutely beast mode fragrance it's oud satin mood extra be careful of this one this is intense i only need one or two sprays when i wear it myself when my husband wears it too this is such a really long lasting and projecting fragrance it will just blow your mind and this is a true compliment getter it's crazy actually oud satin mood is velvety rosy oud it's very romantically and timelessly done it's not like a animalic oud this is a very well blended gentle but really powerful oud really beautifully done very elegant very parisian so if you are into this classic european scent <laughs> uh, profile then this would be a great one for you and another really be smooth fragrance that you can get at a really great price this is truly beast mode there's not many fragrances that are that affordable and that beast mode at the same time for men intense from bentley the scent profile is also very high quality very niche level it's a chocolatey boozy warm ambery scent with lightness to it so it's not too cloying or anything really just ah uh, it just smells like leathery seats uh, in a Bentley. It's just beautiful, really sexy, really confident. And uh, I love this one for the price, especially because I'm, I don't know how, how is this fragrance only the amount of money for the scent. It's just absolutely crazy. And the next fragrance that is beast mode is Oud Isafan from Dior exclusive line. That is such a sexy fragrance. It's Oud, but it's a very light and airy Oud, something a bit like Baccarat Rouge, that woodiness, but without so much sweetness. It's very spicy. It's super sexy. To me, Oud Isafan is like Woodward, but made more like oriental and sophisticated and 
beast mode it's really mouth watering it's so so good you have to try it let me know what is your favorite beast mode cologne down in the comments and i'll see you all very very soon bye